TIU men's basketball takes a 76-48 win over the Jets and Eagles here Tuesday night. Uh, here with head coach Boomer Roberts. Coach, uh, you had three guys in double figures, Grant Corsi and Zach Kirschbaum, each with a couple double-doubles. Um, what was your thoughts about uh, what we just saw out there tonight? Much needed. Um, I think Justin's been playing really well. Uh, they had Stritch beat and lost late in the game, and then they beat Olivet. And it's really hard to beat Olivet no matter when it is. Um, so coming in here, they were really hot. But I thought it was really about us. Um, all, all week long, we've had a sick taste in our mouth because we haven't guarded the ball. We haven't defended well at all. And we've just been, we've been on our guys really hard um, in practices and film and everything about how we have to change it. And to their credit, our team totally embraced that tonight. And that was probably, in, in my two and a half years here, the best defensive performance um, from top to bottom that we've had, um, or at least top two. So, for us, the the, the points, you know, they're they're going to come. Um, we're going to score the ball on most nights. But if we can guard like that consistently, we be, we go from a good team to a very good team. And I'm really proud, um, extremely proud of my group tonight for the way they defended. Look at uh, just kind of the roster, of the lineup you've got here this year. Um, a couple weeks ago, you win a game with 25 three pointers. Tonight you win, giving up just 48 points to the opposition. Um, kind of that flexibility and learning how to win different ways. Like, what do you think uh, that does for you? Uh, you know, as you go later in the year, and, and what does that say about this team, just kind of overall? I mean, I think you said the right word, Greg. Is learning. Um, although we have a lot of returners, we're still learning about our team. This is a new team. Every team we get is new, um, and we're learning that we we do have the ability to win games differently. Now we can lose games differently too. Uh, you're not going to make 25 threes maybe ever again. Um, you know, that's so rare. Uh, but we, we can definitely shoot the ball well on any given night. Um, but the hat, we have, we have to hang our hat, excuse me, on the defensive end. Because because of our pace of play, we're going to get up and down the floor. Um, because of Kirschbaum in the middle, we're going to get open shots on the perimeter. And because of our, our athletes on the wing, we can get that ball to paint. So, um, like I said, it, it's nice having being able to outscore teams if we need to, um, but we can't rely on that because the coaches in this league, the, the coaches we're going to play and the teams we're going to play from here on out, um, including Jensen, are, are just too smart. They're going to take you out of that stuff. So um, we have to be able to guard consistently, and I think they shot 25% tonight. Um, you know, If we can do that and force turnovers like we, we normally do, we become pretty tough to beat. But... Um, as excited as I am about it, we got to do it more consistently. Um, but it's certainly nice to know. Looking ahead this weekend now, the Trojans will step outside of conference play with a trip to, to Arizona, take on Arizona Christian and Benedictine Mesa. Um, what do you know about those two teams? Being from Arizona, it's a lot of fun for me um, to be able to go back there and pray, play in, in front of friends and family. we got some West Coast guys whose families will be there too, so that will be exciting. Uh, Arizona Christian um, is loaded. <laughs> They, we play them first, and they got a backcourt that's as good as any backcourt in the country at our level. And maybe, you know, I mean, they're, they're a low-major backcourt, mid-major backcourt. They're really, really good. They're 4-0, I believe, um, with some big blowout wins. And then Benedictine, we played last year. Um, really well coached, good team, second-year program. Uh, they're receiving votes, I think they're 26th in our poll um, in NAI Division II. So... We're playing two good teams. I'd rather go out there and, and just get some wins um, and have a good Thanksgiving. But uh, we're going to enjoy the trip as a family. Uh, our team is continuing to come together that way off the court. And, and then we're going to lay it on the line and compete. You know, the fun for us is in the competing. And hopefully we can, we can play well and, and represent well. Um, but we're going to need to play very well to be, to be in the game and, and try to beat both of those teams. Uh, with a quick turnaround, it'll be a challenge for us. But I think it will prepare us. We scheduled this to prepare us for um, the good teams we're going to play in our conference because uh, these two that we're playing are, are very good. Turning improves to 6-2 and two on the year with a 76-48 win over Judson. Coach, thanks. Thanks, Greg. Happy Thanksgiving, man.